Hi guys, welcome to the C Sharp interview question and answer series. In this video, I will be talking about the static keyword in C Sharp. We use static keyword in order to make variable class or functions of type static. Static keyword can be used with any function, variables, or any uh, member type in the class. Static keyword when used, it ensures that only one instance of that particular type is created. Talking about the static variable. Where we make the variable is static, that ensures that single copy of that variable is created and the same copy is shared among all the objects at the class level. Talking about the static class, a static class is created using the static keyword in C Sharp. A C Sharp static class is a class that cannot be instantiated. Static class can contain static members only. Any class can have static constructor, which is called automatically only once while the first instantiation of a class. Static members should be called with the dot operator. Means suppose a static class has a function, static function. In order to call that function, you should be using class name dot method name. Static variables can be initialized outside the class. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Inside the student class, let's create one uh, variable, static variable rather. Let's create another function public static void display This is pub, uh, student display method Let's create another non-static method public void registration yes normal class can have static members this is registration method of student class so when I instantiate this student class inside the main function student as equal to new student and when I use dot operator to call a function, you can see I am able to call only registration because the registration is non-static method. That means this is instance method. So if at all I want to call static members with the display function or the first name, I won't be able to call with the instance members. In order to call it, I will have to make use of student class name dot. You can see I am able to call first name. Also, student dot I can call display method as well. So, talking about the static class, if I make this class student class as static, it will start throwing the error. Compile time error is thrown because static class can have only static members. So, I will have to make it as public static void registration see error has gone again so next question is can this static class be parent so let's try to create another class CLS tap tap say my student and let's try to inherit from the student class which is static so when I try to inherit any class from the static class it throws the error compile time error why it says that my student class cannot derive from the static class so static class cannot be parent so question is can static class be child so let's so let's create another class my, my class so let's try to inherit the student class from my class See again it is throwing the compile time error. Static class student cannot derive from type my class because static classes must be derived from the object. Talking about the static constructor. Suppose I have got one class, same class, a student. Let's make it non-static. So let's create one constructor, CTO or tap tap.
let's call this uh, method name I say this is student class constructor new object created and let's create another constructor static this is static constructor if I instantiate this student class s1 equal to new student so let's instantiate it twice and let's give a run to this application so here we go you can see here this one uh, static student has been called only once and the normal constructor has been called twice so this constructor will be called every time when you create new instance so which concludes that static constructor gets called automatically only once when you instantiate your class so just to summarize static class cannot be instantiated static class can have only static members we cannot call static constructor explicitly in order to call static members use dot operator and static variables can be initialized outside the member function or the class definition so guys i'm trying to make video as simple and short as possible with lots of information in upcoming videos we'll see some more advanced concepts in c sharp thanks for watching stay tuned